Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Bobby. Today we're gonna play a Wizard's Lizard. Um, this is a roguelike game that is kind of similar to The Binding Isaac, but of course this has its own, you know, perks and uh, differences. And you can see my first time opening the game. Um, the bottom you can see zero wins, zero deaths. So it's one of those types of games where you know one life type of thing. Let's go ahead and get started. I have seen a couple videos of it, so I know a little bit about it, but other than that, I am pretty much new to everything. You can see it's kind of like Binding Isaac where you can go random, choose a character, blah blah. So the first one is Raga. Let's, uh, let's play. Move with the left analog stick or D-pad, we're at a wizard's tower. So we are um, wizard's lizards. There's a map on the top right. We got health on the top left and money. Press A to interact. Is this the wizard? Hello wizard. Hello. Ah, Raga. You are just in time, my friend. I'm about to finish this magic potion. It will protect us from death. Oh crap! Whoa! <laughs> We've done it. We've mastered death. Oh yeah? What? <gasps> oh crap! So, you dare claim lame over my domain? Death! You no longer have any power over us. Silence. Death is far from the worst thing that can happen to mortal. Come to my crypt. And I will show you my meaning. Oh my god. No, he's left, he's gone. So, do I touch this? Huh, so this is like, so uh, I guess this happens when you, okay, this is either gonna happen every time you play, or um, a tutorial. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's go. Hello, attack with the right analog stick. Oh, that's interesting. Hello. Raga, hello little one. What happened to your master, the wizard? Oh no, wait! You want to save him? Well, alright. He'll be at the death scripts. Take my sword and hurry. Take my sword. Legend of Zelda style. So I am using a um, control uh, pad. And it looks like we can shoot in a lot of different directions. Um, as of right now, I can see that as soon as you, you, you uh, attack, there is an actual... Oh, you break the light and it gets really dark. That's cool. Um, you can see there is a little bit of cooldown on my sword. Let's go! Cool. Uh, press select the view map. Ooh. Oh, it also shows us about our character. Uh, inventory, inventory, equipment, health, attack, armor, magic, and speed. Cool. Alright, hello, who are you? Death has cast a curse upon us. The museum's precious artifacts are now lost in the constantly changing dungeon mazes. Check back here to see your accomplishments. You want to save the wizard? Head south and talk to the townspeople. So, south is out of this map, you can see up there. So this is my accomplishments? Wow, there are a lot of accomplishments. Ooh, the spot is reserved for a ferocious monster. So when we kill a different type of monster, it'll pop up here. So this is just the achievement hall. All right, what's next? Dun -dun. Tall, the town of Amberfall. Hello, Mr. Ex exclamation point. Several of the town folks went into the cemetery to rescue the wizard. I fear they might not come back. Please go after them. To start your journey, head east to the cemetery. Be careful, Raga. Alright. Whoa, I just picked the money! Please, take this 500 gold. It's all we have, but it should help you on your journey. Rescue more townsfolk in the dungeon to increase your starting gold. Starting gold. So it's basically telling me that, um... Ooh, fresh water, come wash your face. And it's telling me that there are some persistent stuff. You know, this is a game where it's one life, that type of thing. But there are persistent elements that you can uh, earn throughout the game. <laughs> oh, look at this, a ball? Hello. All right, so he's at east to the thing. But what's south? This is a starting store, I believe. Welcome to my humble store. Find blueprints to increase my inventory. Rescue hostages to get more starting gold. So blueprints will increase more stuff. Cool. Interesting. Can I find gold here? I don't know. Hold on, my cat's going really crazy. I'm gonna let her out. Sorry about this. Come here. There you go. So professional. I didn't think she'd go meowing like crazy. Alright, so let's go east and head to the cemetery. Let's begin our first journey. Save the wizard. Whoa. Um, <laughs> you can see on the right, he's like attacking him. So it looks like there's three stages. Um, a cemetery, a sewer, and his lair? Only three, huh? Huh. Alright, cemetery. Here we are. 
This is gonna be fun. I really like roguelikes, and you know, I enjoy the, um, I enjoy the aspect of randomness every run. You know, it makes it so, you know, it's different every time, and definitely increases the replay value. All right, so we got money already. This is nice. All right, so keep an eye on the map. Keep an eye on my money and health. Okay, so oh god, first kill, angry owl. I believe that might go on my achievement, huh? All right, let's see. Nothing here. This one's gonna blow up, I assume. There we go. All right. Oh wow. So this is my first time fighting these guys. First kill bat. So I don't know everyone's attack pattern. So forgive me if I um, do horrible. There's a ghost here. All right. So I know a little bit of when you die, you become a ghost and you go into their world. So as of right now, there's not much here. You can open these up and actually fight them. First kill zombie. Um, I don't believe. Do you have to? Okay. Uh, there's a. Hold on. Let's see. So if if there's any enemies, it will close. All right. Good, good, good. The music is pretty nice. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Zelda. It's kind of epic in a way. All right, let's go. As for like hidden doors and all that stuff, I'm not sure if they exist. Like I said, I only watched a little bit of it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay. I got this, I got this. Oh, they're throwing shovels at me. Who's meat? Um, I think that will heal you, so I don't want to pick it up yet. Or can you even pick it up? Oh god, okay. Well now I know, now I know. You can pick it up, even though you have full health. That's a little unfortunate. I don't know why they would uh, give you the option doing that. Okay, there's bats here, which I don't think they chase you. Attacking these owls, I've seen. As soon as they hit it, they should run after you. Yep, there you go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grind these guys a little bit then. I don't have to, but they do give me some gold every once in a while. Um, it's different from like our darker purpose, which I think I like that game a little bit more. Well, I, can't, I don't know. I mean, I just started this one. How, what can I say? But I really like the aspect of ooh, leveling up, getting experience. This one is pretty much get gold and find items to increase either your uh, active abilities, your passive items, that type of stuff. But I, you know, I'm just, you know, making conversation. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Owls attack on sight. Not sight. Oh my god. Oh, that's a, that's a first kill if I kill that thing. What is that? What is that? I got hit 15. That was my first hit. Ah, oh my god, it's tough. First kill Great Owl. So the Great Owl just chases you right away while these regular owls attack you as soon as you hit them. That's nice. So make sure to give yourself enough space to hit him three times. That's that's the uh, base um, damage for them. All right, bats wander. Great Owl. Oh, shit. Ah, what the heck? What is that? That's a new one. Oh, that's why. Uh, the dire bat it actually shot some stuff at me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I'm getting destroyed here. No, no, I got this. I got this. Come on, come on. Oh, all right. The zombies. So I got hit by that other bat because I thought it was the same as the. Oh, what the? This guy's hadoukening. Or they use, what's that one move uh, that Cammy does? You know, the whatever kick. First kill werewolf. I'm almost dead. Um, let's see if we can find food. I, sh I should probably make use of the traps around here. And by the traps, I mean, what do we got? We only got the barrel so far. I don't know if they get hurt from the spikes. I wasn't paying attention. Um, let's find out. Let's see if I can make them walk over the spikes and see if they take damage. Over here. They don't take damage. Um, okay, so I'm going to put them near the barrel. And then I'll attack it and see if they get hurt. It should, it should work, right? Alright, let's see. Okay, they do take damage. So spikes, no. Barrels, yes. Uh, nothing here except graves. Ooh, shop. All right. Hello. Sorry, I can only give you discounts to my best customers. Maybe someone in town can help you out. So I have enough to buy any one of these, but I don't know what is what. Um, let's buy this middle one. It's the cheapest one. And it looks interesting. This compass might just tell me about the room. Uh, the music is great. All right, you know what? Let's get the compass. New item acquired dungeon compass. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's like Isaac then. It actually um, shows me the icons. If I go left from here, it's the boss. Uh, is it a boss or like a mini room or something? Shit, it's the boss. Zombie warlord. That's not good. I only have 30 health. Zombie warlord. Hey, yeah. Ha, ha. Try to make use of the. Uh... Oh my god. Ah, crap. Ah, shit. Wow. Oh my god. All right, I got this, I got this, I got this. What, what the, what the? So I believe that there is an actual item room, like Binding Isaac, where you get like an item for free. And I just didn't see it on my map. Oh my God, I dodged right into that thing. No, the zombies are popping up. Oh no, two, okay, two hits each. 
Um, I don't know if the zombies have, or any enemies in general, have a chance to drop health. If they do, that'd be amazing. Um, because so far they've only been dropping, um, money. Um, money's cool, but come on, give me some health. Cool. Or maybe you need a specific, you know, item for that. Alright, let's try to keep my distance. Alright, we're doing good. I, I can't see his health, but it's better than being so close to his face that he hits me. Oh, he's not even close to dead! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no! Oh. oh my god! That's right! We, we go into this other mode. I forgot. Oh. So we are now ghosts in the spectral world, what have you. Oh my god. Oh my god! I have to destroy these things. They keep spawning the zombies. Uh, destroy this thing, please. Oh! What? Not only do we have to deal with the ghost zombies, but we have to deal with the regular ones too? Wow, oh my god, this game is difficult. Oh god. Okay, let's do this. I do not have enough damage. This battle can take forever. You guys can see. I'm having, I'm, I don't even think I hit him 25% yet. Ah, I'm stuck in the thing. I don't have any AoE or anything. This character starts out with nothing. Um, but, you know, maybe as we get more persistent stuff in town, maybe I can start off with an active item. Wow. If I win this, a freaking miracle. I mean, I'm not expecting too much my first run, but my god. All right, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, ah. If there weren't any zombies, I'd have a way better chance of this. But that's the uh, troop of the, oh my god, of the boss. Uh, well, well, I'm curious if there's going to be um, different types of bosses. Like, uh, I'm going to, of course, um, you know, compare it to Binding Isaac because it's, you know, the most it's the thing that people most notably uh, think about when they think of, you know, top-down roguelikes. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and say stuff about it. Uh, are there champion bosses? Are there going to be champion enemies? Because that would be really cool. Like, what if this is a champion boss? I doubt it. But, oh, no. Alright, keep dodging. Keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging. He's almost dead! No, I'm with the- Whoa! Oh my god, am I gonna win? Yes, my first boss! Come on, come on! In your face, buddy! No! Whoa, good dodge, good dodge! Whoa! <laughs> I think I'm finding, starting to find this pattern! Yeah, look at that! He's faster than me, but if we could time it, we could dodge in between. Okay, we got this, we got this. We got this. Oh my god, we can do this! Yes! I feel good about myself, I'm good. So there were about two shops on the map. You can't see the icon of the second one because it's more it's off the map, it's more to the right. What the heck? I killed that zombie and he turned to a ghost. Alright, let's go. I think we could win. I don't know when he's gonna start shooting straight again, so I gotta keep moving. Oh! I got one more hit left, it hit me ten. Come oh, on, we can do this, we can do this. First boss I got nothing on me. You got shit on me, bro! Uh, uh, I'm stuck in there. Come on, come on. Come on, mobs. We got... No! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Game over. Treasure found. Uh, new items found. New monsters killed. Oh, man. Let's play again. That was fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So we always start off with this one, it looks like. What is this thing, though? It's just a ball for fun or something? <sighs> so what's over here on the left? This is just more townsfolk, huh? Whoa, what's that? The shortcut leads to the sewer, but the way is blocked by mysterious green crystals. So we can easily go there, huh? What's this? To the crypt, but is blocked by red crystals. Maybe you unlock it after you kill the bosses and you can just go there whenever you want? Tavern. Welcome to the tavern. Many of my regulars are lost in the dungeon. Huh. So this is just the town. Alright. Um, let's do one more run in the crypt and see how far we get. I, I like the art style of this game. And it's it, it runs pretty smooth. It, it okay. It seems a little hard, but you just gotta get used to it, right? Okay, so we're back in here. It looks like he always has the same stuff. We can start out with all this stuff. Um, I'm curious what these different items do. Like, what what power are they gonna give you? Like, obviously this one's like what either double dagger or more faster, and the other one perhaps more range, stronger, and axe. Maybe just maybe an arc. I have no idea. Anyway, back to the crypt. <clears throat> okay, so we have picked up. One new item, and we know what it is for sure. We have to memorize, and I have to play this game very um, consistently. Otherwise, you're just gonna forget what items do. I like Binding Isaac though. Oh, I, should, I should go play some more Binding Isaac and maybe upload some of those too, because that's fun. 
Oh my god, this room, this starting room, what the heck? Alright, um, so we know the compass. It looks like a compass, very easy to recognize. It gives you all the icons in the room. It was kind of expensive, it was 3,000. Um, one thing I don't also don't know about is if, um, you know, items are gonna cost the same each time. Like the value of it, you know, does it matter? We'll find out. So remember, compass was 3,000. If we were to find it again, we'll see if it's the same um, gold cost. Oh my god, bats, 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 bats. Regular bats, we got the dire bat right there who shoots stuff at you every once in a while. Let's go down here. So one thing I noticed in that last run, as ooh, nice, what's this? How do you open it? Ooh, new item acquired, leather helm. And, okay, will it tell me stuff about it? No, I'm scrolling over, nothing. Uh, all right, we, okay, but it does give me one armor. So one armor, nice. So I'm guessing what, if I get hit 10, I'm gonna get hit nine instead. All right, one armor. Ooh, another one. And a glove. New item acquired, fireproof gloves. All right, my armor did not go up, but I'm guessing it is what it says, fireproof. Whoa, what's that minnow? It's like a little thing in the middle. Is that a new enemy? It's like an orc. Boom, green goblin. First kill. Nice, we're getting lucky this run, lots of chests. Random chests too. And the other one, we didn't, we didn't get anything. We just went straight to the boss. Oh yeah, I was about to say. Um, in the last run, we went straight to the boss room. It, it did not even show what was there. Okay, we got a leather tunic. That gave me one more armor up. I'm fine with that. So, um, yeah, this is a good run so far. Um, what, <laughs> what exactly is a good run? I don't know yet. Ah, I got hits. Oh. It's okay, we got armor. We're tanky. Kind of. As tanky as I've ever been. What's this? Food, right? Nice. I don't know how much food usually heals you. That one healed me full at least 13. Perhaps it's 15 to 20 or something. Uh, depending on the item, I don't know. Like I said, it's all speculation until I can actually figure some stuff out myself. And we have a shop. We can buy that item. All right, let's uh, break this stuff. I don't know if you can attack the shopkeep. Um, I might try it out in a future run. Not right now, though. All right, so we have this thing. It's a heart with a potion, I believe. Perhaps maybe increases your max health. Um, a poison band, maybe you hurt somebody. This one, I'm gonna pick it up right away, though. All right, let's see what this is. New hunting spear. Whoa, this is fast. All right, my attack is 10. My attack is 10. Switching back to this, my attack is 10 again. Oh shit! No, no, accident! That was an accident! Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna hunt you down. Oh, now we know we can attack him. Ah! Come at me, bro. I got a hunting spear. This is really, okay. So the hunting spear, it looks like it's the same damage, but it's fast and it's super long range. I think this is a better uh, tool than the sword. I don't know how fast the sword is. Yeah, hey, we're doing good. Huh, I wonder if it's gonna be like Spelunky. Like if you kill, if you, or like if you aggro any shopkeep, or attack him at all, or will all the other ones hit you in the future? Look at that, we can steal this stuff now! Anti-venom ring, and um, some kind of potion. The potion does not go in my inventory, so it, and it also didn't increase my max health, so it's probably just an item. What the heck? Oh, we totally destroyed that shopkeep. All right, so, ooh, what's that? Golden thingy. This is interesting, huh? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so the question is, will the shopkeeps, you know, um, any future shopkeeps trade out attack you? If they do, then I guess I can fight them, because it wasn't that hard. We'll leave the food there. If it disappears, then so be it, but I absolutely do not have to pick it up right now. Ooh, there's a key here. How do I grab that? And what is that used for? Is there anything else in here? There's a way up and down, some spikes. Let's go up. Blueprint. It's 5,000 for this blueprint. Welcome. Buy a blueprint. You'll be able to purchase a new item. Or I can just attack you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um. Uh. Uh. I don't think you can actually kill this guy. Dang. 
All right, if I ever get 5,000, I'll come back here. Huh. Well, it was worth a shot, so I know for sure you can kill shopkeepers. Cool. I guess that, you know, helps with the cheating. Oh, no, it's the first boss again. Zombie Warlord. Is it always going to be the Zombie Warlord? That's uh, one other thing I need to know. All right, I know your pattern. You're going to straight at me right now. Oh, I just realized he moves slow in the, um, he moves extremely slow over there in, um, the cobwebs too. Alright, so we have super long range. It looks like it goes all the way across the map, or at least as far as my freaking, um, sight is. So that's gonna be good. Considering this boss is pretty close range, I mean, his most dangerous pattern happens when he's close range, when he's swinging that thing around. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, barely got out of its range. If he moves even an inch closer to me, I'm gonna get hurt. Uh, so we're fighting the same boss again. And um, so far, not a different variant yet. Okay, this is so much easier. Um, I think the room layout is just way better than way better for me in general. Because um, he's slow, he's slow. And well, I'm just not afraid of him anymore because I absolutely know his attack patterns. So that's really good for me too. Bam, bam, bam. Oh no, man, you're so slow. Why are you so slow, bro? Why are you so Ow, you <laughs> you ran into me. Oh man. Alright, so that was my first hit and he hit me 25. Oh no, there's a zombie over there. Uh, okay, gotta take these guys out. Do these guys drop money? They do drop money. Wow, I wonder if I can just farm this all day. Hmm. Okay, so I never killed a boss yet, so um, this, there's some more questions to ask. Um, is the boss going to give me money? Is it going to give me just another item, like a special item? If it's money and it reaches 5,000, you bet your ass it's going to go back to that blueprint. But other than that, I uh, don't know. Alright, he's almost dead. This is going so much better than our first fight with this guy. Cool. I guess it depends on the, the room layout then. We got lucky. We got lucky. This is an easy one. He's moving really, really slow. Alright, and we do have some health lying around uh, in a couple of rooms behind. I don't remember how far, but uh, I will go back for it if they let me. I believe you can keep running around in the floor, right? Because that would be really unfair if you can, if you just have to straight out fight um, this guy. And then you, it takes you straight to uh, the next area, which is uh, the sewer, right? Dodging for the win! Oh my god, hell yeah. Hell yeah! Alright, just gotta get through this uh, little butthole zombies and got this. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Da, 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 da. Bang, bang. Alright. Excuse me. You die. First kill zombie warlord. So this is just health up. Alright, how much money do we got? Not enough, but we do have uh let's see. But we did get our health back to full, so no need to head back. Here is a treasure chest. Will this take me straight to the... Oh, no. Down there, go next to the place. Uh, the next area. Break these. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we now have 5,000. So we're going to head back and get the blueprint. What is this? New item acquired. Royal dagger. Oh, my God. Look at that attack speed. Very short range. But the attack speed is high. Is this the same daggers that you can get... That you can buy at the beginning of the game? It looks like it, huh? Okay, let's go buy the blueprint. Nice. Bang, bang. That was really good. Hmm. All right. So we have been to the blueprint room, but it uh, it's not showing up on our uh, map. It looks like we absolutely need the compass if we want any sort of icon at all. Blue book of magic blueprint. Book of magic. Is that, is that another active? Uh, it's either it's an active item, or it's gonna be an item that replaces my weapon. Like instead of uh, attacking with this, we can attack with magic. That'd be really cool, huh? Okay, let's go. <laughs> we walked in that room and the boss magic started playing. I don't know how loud the music is, but I wonder if you guys heard that. Okay, next area. Cemetery completed. 8 minutes, 72 damage taken. Alright, cool. Uh, we're one third of the way there. Sewer. Sewer. Okay, do you get hurt on this? Let's find out. I don't know. Okay, either we do or do not get hurt. And it doesn't matter because I have that one poison anti-venom ring on. If you guys remember? Whoa, we killed a face hugger. First kill. It came out of the um, one of those things. All right, let's do this. 
Oh my god, okay. Just straight out attack. Who cares? Let's find out what to do later. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? God, we attack so fast. Unloy eye? Okay. First kill slime. Pretty awesome. What's that? Whoa! This is interesting. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Lurker. Lurker. Lurker stuff. Whoa! So, are there really only going to be like three floors? In this game? Or is it going to be like... like okay, I'm just going to guess. It's probably like Isaac right now. Where, um... First kill green slime. Oh my god, I can't hit them. I have to wait till they pop up. Um, where, you know, uh, when you first beat the game, it stops at like, uh, like the mom fight. And then when you replay it again, it probably does the, um, what's the other one? The mom's heart. And then, uh, down to, uh, blue baby and all that. And all that stuff. It, it might be the case. If not, then, I don't know, that kind of sucks. I would love to see more different floor variations than, uh, just these three. But hey, right? Let's see what happens. Anything else? Yeah, that's the last green slime. I wonder if you can move blocks like Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Alright. It's like these face huggers. Oh, I just killed a mutant zombie. I didn't even know that. Ah! Oh! Whoa, 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 Oh my god. Whoa. Holy sh. God. What the fuck? Not gonna lie. This kind of sucks. I think it reminds me of a thing in Zelda. Okay. Oh, God. Dilly, dilly. Oh. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Excuse me, Mr. Slime. All right, all right. Ah! I'm almost dead. These guys hit so much. All right. One more enemy left. That guy. Got him. Um, we can only go right from here. You can't hit those things, huh? No. Ah. Oh, why did I try to... Whatever. Let's go. Well, I got about one hit left, I think. What's in here? Move slow. I don't know what's in here. Wait, actually, the, the door is open, so there's no enemies here. What a weird room. What is this thing? Is this it? Does this have any significance? Huh. Awkward. Blueprint! 15,000! My god. Yeah. Huh. Well, oh well. Let's go. Dang. I have, like, no money. Does this room have any purpose at all? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I almost, I almost got hit there. Ah! Okay, freaking dangers. Freaking terrain. All right, this room. Oh, what the heck? I don't think I could walk in there, can I? I'm not sure. No, I can't. Not only can I not, like, walk on there. I thought it was going to hurt me if I walked on there, but it looks like we can't even go there. All right, we finished the room. The door opened up. No, we didn't. Heck. Okay, door open later. Ugh. Shop. What the? Okay. So, it is like... Ugh. It's like Splunk. You attack one shopkeep, and all of the other ones go after you. Oh, this is perfect. I can grab all the stuff. Yeah, whatever that was, I got it all. Cool. All right, let's go, buddy. I'll take you out. Fuck you, shopkeep. Um, the battle seems to be the same. So if you absolutely get really good at attacking shopkeeps, I guess you can, you know, grab it all throughout the whole game. It's not the worst. It's just I need to dodge a little bit more. The first time fighting him, it was a pretty easy dodge. I didn't die. Um, and this one's not too shabby either. And it looks like he's done. I might attack shops the whole time. Aha! So we, we picked up a compass and um, two other things. I don't know what they do. Um, they did not go in my equipment or inventory slot. So that means they were just a regular consumable. And what they actually did give me, I'm not sure. So I had full health at the time that I picked them up. Because I just died. Dang, you get out of here. Okay. So let's see. Looking at the map. There's only one more way to go. Wow, look at the boss icon. It's all the way over there. And then there's another money sign symbol. I don't know what that can mean. Is that another shop? Well, I mean, you know what I mean, right? Is it a shop or is it a blueprint area? It looks like there's no different variation between uh, the two rooms. The symbol is like the same. That's a new enemy, right? No? Okay. Doing pretty well. Happy about this. 
Alright, another mutant zombie, some slime, space hugger. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, there. Ah, got hit by what? Oh, this thing, I didn't see it was a slime. Oh, chest! I think that's my first one of this, uh, this floor. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's see what it is. It is. What's this? Anti freeze ring. Or we can keep our poison ring. I think we'll keep our anti venom ring and just because we are in the sewer and um, I am guessing we might get poisoned here. Let's hold on to that. Anti freeze ring. I haven't seen any enemies which freeze me. So I don't you know have any use for it at the moment. What is that? Oh! Oh! Kill it! Kill it! Oh my god! Alright, this battle doesn't look too bad. Um, nothing else is attacking me. What is that? Is that a regular enemy? Oh, god, god, god. You remember, I'm on my last life here. Come on. Come on. First kill slime crystal. I accidentally went to the other room. Oh. Crystal. Huh. Now, in town, it said that the sewer was blocked off by crystal, by some kind of crystal. Is, is it these crystals that I have to destroy? Did I open it or do I have to fight more? My right, door's open. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh no, it lied to me. What's this? Um, demon's hands. Um, some more armor. All right. I think, it's, I think it, it should be better, right? I don't, I, okay, armor is two, armor is three. Okay, that's better. I wish it really, you know, I wish it tell you, you know, what's better. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. It's gonna be trial and error. Yeah, huh? Is that how we're doing this? I'll, I'll work with that, but it just sucks. Yeah, let's go. And we are. What the eyeballs, 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 eyeballs. Oh my god. You know, for my second run, I think we're doing really, really good. I mean, I don't know how everyone else else fares. Like, that golden um, bread only gives me 10 health. So yeah, um, we have 5 attack compared to uh, the 10 if we're using uh, the base weapon or the hunting spear. But I like this a lot, it's fast. Uh, we got boots. Steel boots, armor up by 2 more. So a total of 5 armor. Eyeball! Whoa! Sonic Wave! Sonic Wave! Carry from a uh, Sonic Wave! Is that him? Oh, God, I don't know. Excuse me, slime! Wow. Whoa, whoa, oh, crap. Ha! Ha! Bastard. Come here. Look at this! It's a uh, room with some kind of golden key. And it doesn't show on the map. So it must lead to a new area. Not a uh, new room in this place. Oh no, face huggers everywhere. Oh my god! Oh! Wow. Oops, I left. Darn it. Okay. So I don't know if we have to absolutely hit these things. I'm gonna do it because, you know, it's not too bad. Like one or a couple at a time. It's not the worst. There is a chest I am very so inclined to obtain. We just take you guys out. I don't know if they pop up out of these things. Or, you know, if you hit them, that's when they pop up. Alright. I guess only when you hit it. So we have about 5.4k. And we got, boom! Ring of defense. Ring, uh, okay, our defense went up by 2. I think we're gonna stick with this poison one. It might help out. Okay, what's this? The pentagram room. What is this? What is this pentagram? Whoa, whoa, what did I just do? I touched, I went in the middle and something happened. I'm about to die. I'm about to die, this freaking eye thing. Whoa. <gasps> Wait a minute. I stood in that pentagram thing and a little bar underneath my avatar was going up. I think it might revive me. Oh my God. That's cool. Um, we had a really good run. I liked that a lot. Wizard's Lizard. Um, time consuming, but fun. Um, so this was the first episode. Let me know if you guys want to see more. I'll definitely keep playing it. 
Uh, I can't wait to see what else we can unlock, all the stuff we can do in town. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, it helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. I need you guys' help to uh, grow my channel. So if you would, please share with your friends, posting anywhere on the internet. That'd be awesome. Thanks, and um, I'll see you guys next time.